We're talking with Jennifer Osborne, <laughs> who plays Claire's assistant in the Netflix hit Netflix series House of Cards with Kevin Spacey and Robin Wright. We're getting some inside scoops about what exactly goes on behind the scenes on the set of House of Cards. Now, House of Cards depicts the inner machinations of the United States Capitol here in Washington, D.C. Some say realistically, some say a little bit over the top, but certainly very, very cynically and darkly showing that people are after power, money, and fame. But, I remember but now. Jennifer, as you've told me, it is filmed for the most part in Baltimore, Maryland, just it some is. 30 miles away. And I'm a big fan of Baltimore, Maryland, Charm City, obviously, apparently. And I recognized one of one of the motels where they, they have, um, I won't, it won't be giving any, anything away, where they have a prostitute staying um, on North Avenue in Baltimore. I, I recognized it right away and I was like, ah, it's filmed in Baltimore. <laughs> But you were telling me that the Clean Water Initiative building is an, is actually kind of an inherent part of Baltimore. A little. Um, there's also like the cafe that they eat in a lot is kind of down in that area, and um, the area is surrounded by like strip clubs. There's like a hustler store which has really cute stuff. And every now and then I would walk by and be like, I really need those rainbow tights from that <laughs> stripper store. Um, but the day that I had my line, they you know treated me like. A queen and so I had a, a little trailer and so I had like stepping out of the trailer and I come out and there's this guy and he's like hey 50 cent beers for lunch we just opened come on in I was like okay I'm just gonna go back in here <laughs> 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 had I not been working maybe I would have thought about it but well, since I was working so um, the CWI was saying when I was reading the scripts I was like I don't know how this ties in and so I was so surprised when I saw how it all tied together and how everybody else interacted I just thought I think the story is just so great and that guy who played Peter Russo it's terrible that I don't know his name Corey um, Stoll oh my god was he not just amazing people if I mean Kevin Spacey's great Robin Wright's great David Fincher you know I love what you're doing but god he was just incredible I thought yeah there's no question I actually I, I, a number of critics have have said that the Peter Russo storyline which is a young congressman from uh, South Philly, who essentially comes from a very working class background and is forced to betray a, a lot of his uh, friends and family in order to, to sort of, um, due to sort of the power politics at play in the show, and is a heartbroken man who's dealt with a drug problem, but ultimately has, we believe, has a very good heart. And th there, that's one of the most compelling storylines in the show for people that have not yet watched it. 